Hi guys, it's day two, and I reckon by the time today's uh, over, you've all had at least one semester at a uni in an alternate universe. <laughs> that's how much you're learning. And I find it quite incredible that um, we told you so much stuff yesterday and your eyes didn't glaze over and you actually got it. <laughs> so I reckon the plasma was helping us <laughs> to give you all the information you needed and um, to open your consciousnesses to, to what you know is real. Okay, so um, these are just some experiments we've done that I'll let run. That hole was actually created by one of the bracelets. Um, we froze the ice with a bracelet on top and it created such a toroid field in the ice that it created a, a hole in the ice. Every time you um, take one of your um, things with Gans or Nano and put it near water which you can freeze, you will see the fields in the ice. Can you just put there, Jimmy? Just okay. something. Is it on? Uh, sorry, it's on its rotation. It doesn't go too uh, I just want to. So we just did different experiments to test how strong things were and um, those are our little spheres that you can see on the top of our peace candles there. Please try our peace candles. I made them specifically for peace and all they are is a plasma battery with one of the little spheres with a crystal inside and covered in gants. And I've had so many people come to my home very depressed and unhappy and I say to them, just go and feel the peace candles. And have a little feel as to what you feel and hand, hold your hands over them and feel the energy and by the time they leave my house they bounce out of there as if they're on some kind of a drug. So that is the difference uh, that the energies will make. Um, I added some lovely colouring to see what would happen and food colouring when you freeze it does tend to, because it's got salt in it, it will shrink, shrink, shrink as the ice is forming on the sides and it will shrink down to a to a, a central point and because of that you can see beautiful beautiful um, fields in the ice when uh, when they get there um, and um, so we did these quite a while back until I got to the point where I broke a hollow of bowls because the fields were so strong that they smashed the bowls as the ice was forming <coughs> so uh, I decided to quit because I, I needed to go to um, all the second hand shops to go now find some new bowls. <laughs> uh, I decided not to use a long thin thing because I thought that would smash. But um, even even a, a, a good corneware bowl just uh, can get eradicated. And this Gans I literally took off. Can you see the fields? The fields and, and you, you don't even have to leave the Gans on the on the um, bowl, the, the fields will literally form there on their own when the gas has been taken away because it's already energized the water. So it's not like we're, it has to be there to carry on energizing, it's energized and it's done. Um, those are the close-ups of the fields and um, you, you can see that it's, it's, it's a very strong thing for those to be put into the ice. Um, right, okay. let so today we're going to carry on from where we went yesterday and I know you had a look at me doing all this stuff and thinking, oh my god, what now? Um, these are creating your four main mother tinctures, uh, tinctures, four main mother ganses. And your four main mother ganses are something you can use once you start intuitively understanding and I'll give you a list of what each thing does. You will be able to put together your own whatever you need in your home, to treat yourselves, to just be healthy um, and for use to build your magravs as well if you want to build your magravs and um, it's the basis for all of this technology. So when we started yesterday we had the CO2 to begin with um, when you come, if it's at lunchtime you'd like to have a look, they are starting to form very gently and very softly. You have to make them slowly if you crank up the current, you'll get sludge, which is not what you really wanted. Okay, so if you change a condition, what you get at the end will be something different. So you have to kind of stick to the recipe and the formula. The CO2 here 
is what you see in the bottom of this urn. If you get it really pure, it's a creamy color. Um, if you crank up the current, you'll get zinc. Because it is a zinc plate, the zinc will tend to then start making zinc oxide instead of the CO2. So when we create our pure CO2, we go very close with the plates and we go very, very slowly with the LED and we'll get our CO2. If you're in a really clean place, try and get your friend down the road who's next to a stinky highway to do it for you because the CO2 doesn't really form well in really clean areas. I'll back it for months to get mine to work because we're in such a clean environment. So in town it works really, really well. Um, the second one I did was with the nail and the, the copper nano. What you created is the CH3 and that's it here. All of these will be cleaned, remember, once we have created, so we take all the seawater off and there's only distilled water left. With your CH3, please write in your notes there, your CO2 is your basic health. So anytime you need anything for health, CO2 is your first option. Your CH3 is your energy. And some people, when they feel this, they literally can taste sugar in their mouth. You can use this in your health applications to give energy to your body to heal. But under no circumstances use the CH3 where any cancer is involved. Because cancer is a high energy state, so you don't give extra energy. Okay? Where cancer is involved, you use the CO2 and the zinc. Um, the third one in the row here was our copper, the CuO2, and we create this lovely blue copper oxide gas. And this has a dual purpose, it's for disinfecting, but it also connects with the physical body and the muscles. So it will connect with the tendons and the muscles, all the parts of your body, and it is the physical link in your body. And now my favorite, the zinc oxide. If you notice, this zinc oxide is different to the zinc oxide on the table here. This one is quite creamy, and this one is quite white. Because I literally used a power supply with no amps instead of a little battery. Um, you saw on the last, uh, yesterday, a little battery, a, a normal little battery that you buy. It created a slightly different condition and so the, the zinc coming off the plate is slightly smaller and it gives a slightly different color. So each little thing that you do might create, it's still zinc oxide, but you've created a slightly different zinc oxide, maybe with a slightly smaller atom. So every little thing you do, be careful and be wary. Once you've got all your basics, then you can start playing. But don't play when you're wanting to make your basics, because then you're not making your basics, you're making something other. Okay, so this zinc oxide is for your emotion. It's emotional support. That's what, it, what zinc oxide does. And in every single health application, emotional support is needed because most of the chronic illnesses in our bodies are triggered by some emotional issue. And maybe the emotional issue is gone, but your body carries on its timed response to that emotional trigger. And until you can recreate the balance, it will carry on. So you really need to, when you're using your CO2, add your zinc to it. Um, the reason in the cash technology there is there are sort of recipes for the liquid plasma is because then you can start understanding how to combine your liquid plasmas. Lisa, Lisa, were you recommending um, low battery or no battery with the zinc result? Yeah. Yeah. Quite honestly, the best thing with all of these is either, when I do my power supply, zero amps. So it, it doesn't have any amperage through there and it's got the little green 
Uh, sometimes the little green light doesn't want to light up, and then I'll take the green light out and I'll leave it at zero amps. The more you crank up, it's the amps, not so much the voltage, the more you crank up the amps, the worse it's going to be. And if you do use a little battery, use a 1.5 volt. Don't go for a 9 volt or a 12 volt, let me crank, no. So, and the CO2 especially, don't expect to see anything for the first three days. If you do, you're lucky. So don't do it, look next day and say, I've, I made a mistake. It's nature, and like nature, it takes time.